Hello, today I'm going to show you how to cut and install these Home Depot closet rods. First thing that you need to do is get these brackets on. What I like to do with these is I measure off of this back cleat 11 inches and I'll center it right there. It's just three screws and you see this is the hardest one because it's an angle. You can't go too much of an angle down because then your closet rod will fall out. But you can't do it completely vertical because what you're going to do is you're going to hook the closet rod onto this space. So I kind of cant it up at a bit of a 45 degree angle. This one's really simple. It's just a round hole with three screws. Same thing, I come 11 inches off this back cleat and that's where I center this on. The one that's got the open top that you slant at a 45 degree angle, it's got this little lip that the closet rod is going to rest on, which is about a 16th of an inch thick. So if you measure from this cleat to this cleat and you subtract a 16th of an inch, that's one way to get your distance. Another way you can do it is I'm going to push my tape onto that lip. Then right here, I'm going to measure to the front edge of that. My tape reads 41 and a quarter. And now what I can do is I can stick my tape in here and it's 7 eighths of an inch. So 41 and a quarter plus 7 eighths is going to be 42 and an eighth. Now, I don't like to cut these exactly dead on the nose tight. So if I'm 42 and an eighth, I'm going to subtract a sixteenth of an inch out and go 42 and a sixteenth. So what I'm going to do is just take my tape. I'm going to mark with a pencil my measurement of 42 and a sixteenth. The pencil actually shows up really good on this. I've used marker in the past, but graphite pencil works really well. I just have this little tube cutter or pipe cutter. Um, you can use like uh, you can use a miter saw that's set up for cutting steel. If you happen to have one of those, you can use an angle grinder. I like these because I can just cut them in place and it's not very messy and it's really clean. So you just kind of snug that up. And what I do is I just slowly start spinning it, make sure everything stays aligned. Then I just tighten it a quarter turn. Some plumber out there is probably mocking me saying, how on earth does this guy use that tool like this? That's okay. We each have our own way of doing things. And then you just keep tightening it and going all the way around. I like to alternate the direction I roll my wrists. There it is, a nice clean cut. So normally I don't hide in here when I'm trying to get these things installed, but just for the sake of you guys seeing, I'm gonna come on this side of it, otherwise I'm gonna block everything. So, I don't know if you heard that, but I just slid this rod into the round side first, all the way tight to the wall, and then I'm gonna take it over here and slide it, and it's nice and tight. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. So, that's it. It just sits there and lives its best life. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.